This is not my first rodeo. All right. My first chocolate horse rodeo. Yeah. Hey, hey sugar, sugar geeks. geeks. We're here again with Christoph at the Park Hyatt Aviara in San Diego. Today I think we're going to make a little uh, chocolate horse, mini chocolate showpiece. No armature, no structure, nothing. Only today it will be only milk chocolate. And white chocolate because I'm gonna make one too. It sounds really intimidating, but I have no doubt that you're going to show us exactly how to do this and it's going to be really fun. Yes. It's coming up next on the Sugar Geek Show. If you haven't seen the previous four episodes in Kristoff's chocolate series, you definitely wanna check that out, especially the how to temper chocolate. That is the basis for everything we're doing here. So catch up and we will see you here in a second. Okay, so we have our chocolate that was from our melters. Yes. Yep, and mine is already melted. Mine's at 43. Okay. And yours is at 43-ish. Okay, yeah. so we're going to take some uh, chocolate that is already tempered, and mm -hmm. we're gonna add a few drops to bring down the temperature a little bit. Right, got it. So today we are using the Lacte Superior 38% from Cacao Berry and the white chocolate Zephyr 34%. Delicious. Yes. What are we shooting for, 30? Uh, 35. Ah. Uh, so we can add 1% of cocoa butter, you remember? Yes, that's right. C'est magnifique. Ma. Ma. Ni. Ni. Fique. Magnifique. Say my name. Rule. <laughs> Rule. <laughs> I know, I'm saying it really badly. If you have any lumps in your chocolate, uh, you're going to have some trouble. You can hand blend it, mm -hmm. but you want to make sure to not over hand blend it because incorporating air inside your chocolate will make your chocolate thicker and you don't want to do that. Okay, so we are ready to add our 1% of cocoa butter now. Okay. We got a cocoa butter from the Easy Temper machine. It basically keeps the cocoa butter at the perfect temperature that develops the crystallization yes. that you want to temper chocolate. So exactly. we're gonna add this to our chocolate and it yes. will be tempered. The temperature will be around 33 degrees Celsius mm -hmm. of your cocoa butter. And you want to really, really mix super yep. well your, yep. your cocoa butter. Yeah? We're scraping to get all the chocolate off the edges so everything is tempered. So milk, white, and dark have different tempering temperatures. It will be 29 to 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. Versus dark chocolate will be 32. Okay. So how do I know if this is tempered? We're going to do a test. See, I knew the answer to that. <laughs> this is not my first rodeo. All right. My first chocolate horse rodeo. Yeah. You can do your test. I do my, th my test. Now we go drink a coffee. So did you check your test, Liz? Mine is starting to set. Okay. Oh, yeah, this Mine is, set. is setting already. And what happens if it did not set? You gotta do it again. All right. Ten -ten. So we are using a white um, paper, so the chocolate will be really, really uh, uh, smooth, and we're gonna we're not going to get the table dirty. And then we have some rollers of. Uh, plexiglass, and that's pretty much to get exactly the same thickness mm -hmm. all across. Yeah, most people probably don't have little plexiglass pieces, so you can um, either buy a sheet of plexiglass and cut it yourself, but uh, they will cut it for you too. This one, it looks like this is about 36 inches long, and this looks like maybe 18. And then we have our little squirrels. Squirrels? Squirrels. So what we want to do is just, just to put a little bit all around it. Okay, so now you want to glue the, the ruler. So they don't move around. Beautiful, Liz. Am I the best, like, apprentice you've ever had? <laughs> Just say yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we put the leftover chocolate in the warmer. Yes. So then we have our chocolate that is tamper. Mm -hmm. Then you pour the chocolate. And it's not going to stick to the paper. No. Wow. You want to start spreading the chocolate evenly. Okay. Just a little bit. And then, with your ruler, straight ruler, you're going to spread your chocolate all across. Wow. Your board. Okay. Look, you didn't even spill a drop. It's magical. Okay. No pressure, Liz. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing the same thing here, just pouring chocolate onto my paper and then spreading it out all to the corners. Oh my gosh. It's like a professional. 
Is it okay that it didn't yes, go to the corners? Yes, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to let it set a little bit? Yes. So now you can see on the side, mm. your chocolate is already crystallized. Okay. So I'm going to use a toothpick to remove my rulers. All right, so now we have the template with the number of how many of each you're going to do. And this template is going to be on sugargeekshow.com. The link will be in the description below the video. So we're waiting for this to be set, but not yes, fully set. Exactly. So you can see when you touch your chocolate, mm -hmm. it's still a little bit tacky. A little bit shiny in the shiny. middle. Shiny. So we, we still have some time. Uh, over here it's set. So I can put one so there. So maybe you can do the small, the small pieces. And I just trace them, right? Yes, all around it. Okay, I'm ready over here. And I do the body of the horse. You having fun, uh, Liz, over there? This is so fun. I had no idea that you could trace tempered chocolate like this and then to basically cut it. That's really cool. So if you don't have like a mold, you can just use a template. Exactly. We have to move a little bit fast or is you got time? You can do a lot of cutting in five minutes. Yes. But yes, I mean, don't go uh, get a coffee with a neighbor, hoping that when you come back, the chocolate is still going to be good to cut, huh? Yeah, and that's the thing with chocolate is you really have to work on the chocolate's timeline. So if somebody wanted to make a different type of thing besides a rocking horse, they could probably just look up any kind of template that's like a woodworking template, exactly. and you could do this with like anything. Yes, that's the beauty of our job, being creative. Yeah. You know, and uh, Liz, uh, what I will recommend is, uh, you know, if you have a, more room into your uh, your sheets, make just make some extra. Yeah. yeah. Everybody can break things. And, and it's easier to make two. Yes. Make it nice or make it twice. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I think uh, we're good. Yeah, this yeah. is the last one I can fit too. Okay, so now we take the templates off. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Bada boom. You did a really good job, Liz. Oh, thank you, chef. I, I just am, ignore these drips. I am really proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just cut those off really quick. I do not respect the drips. <laughs> you see this plexiglass? Yes. It's fitting perfectly. Oh, great. Right? Okay. So what we're going to do is slide the plexiglass underneath. Actually, let's put both of them together. Okay. We're going to slide it off yeah, like this. Perfect. Got it. Go out. Boom. Okay, so another piece of parchment paper on the top. Then we're going to put the other piece of plexiglass over the top. If you don't put the plexiglass over the top or any kind of way that is flat, yeah. sometimes your chocolate, because it's retracting, is going to start to bend and not mm -hmm. being flat anymore. Yeah. So it's important to really compress and put some pressure in between. You can use sheep pen, but it has to be heavy. Ah, got it. Yes. Okay, so now... We're going to the cooler. We're going to drink wine coolers. No, we are going to the cooler. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, Liz. It looks like our chocolate is ready to be unmolded. I'm very serious. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's keep this one. Oh my God. Oh, oh it cracked. Oh, yes. And I didn't make an extra one of those. That's okay. But you know what? We're going to take some tempered chocolate. Okay. And we're going to put it over here like this. And we're gonna glue it together. Okay. That's it. So what I will do is scratch a little bit this part mm -hmm. uh, of the chocolate with a knife or an exalto knife. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna create some grips. And then you will scratch the part B. Then you're gonna add a little bit of tempered chocolate okay. on the side. And then you glue the parts together. Okay. Ah, nice. You can use a little bit of cold spray. And then on the other side, you can uh, smooth, smooth your chocolate. Yeah. See? Uh-huh. And since we're going to brush this, you probably won't even see this, yeah? I don't think so. Okay. Good. Let okay. it set. All right. And during this time, what I will do is brush the, okay. the rest. What is this? Is this barbecue brush? It's like a metallic brush you can buy in uh, Home Depot, mm. Lowe's. Mm -hmm. We brush the pieces like this. Okay. It's to bring kind of like a wood effect to the to the chocolate. Huh? I love how that wood grain looks. So you remember this one? We did like a, a horse like that for the, the show, show piece we did after Halloween War. Yes, that's right. Um, for one week straight and make this uh, huge life-size gingerbread house, house yes. with a Christmas tree 
Mm -hmm. That was in the center, that was over like six foot, I think. That's right. And I love that big star that you put on top with the pulled sugar. Yes. And the light on the inside. That was awesome. Didn't we have to take the doors off the room to get that out? <laughs> Yeah, I have to call engineering to unscrew the doors. And they were like, are you serious? Oh. <laughs> are you done? Yes. I'm removing the extra. Oh, okay. Cleaning up a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to start to glue with tamper, tamper chocolate. Which one is the front leg? This one is the yes. front, this one is the back? Uh-huh. All right, so. Tempered chocolate? Tempered chocolate. So you put a good piece of tempered chocolate over here. And then, okay. Nice. Then the same thing over here. Mm -hmm. A little bit of cold spray. Okay, so now we flip over the horse and we're doing the other side with the tempered chocolate, making sure our legs are not upside down. <laughs> and we use cold spray to secure. We're going to, yes. Okay. Because of this is a little bit thin. Mm -hmm. We're gonna solidify the bottom of the legs. Ah, yes. So we're going, to, we're going to put some chocolate on both sides of the, of the legs on the bottom okay. to make it stronger. Okay. Okay, so you see? All right. We're good. So we have our base mm -hmm. and that is gonna go over here. So we need to scrape it okay. a little bit the bottom. Then it's already scraped yep. over here, but you know a little bit more. And then we take tempered chocolate. Uh, I'm gonna need the cold spray mm. now. Slightly terrifying. And then this one like this, right? Yes. Okay, so same thing. Okay, glue. Voila. And then we're gonna have another one. On top. On the top. We're just continuing to attach all the little chocolate pieces with some melted chocolate, wipe off the excess, and then seal that in place with a little bit of cold spray so that it doesn't go anywhere. And all these pieces are just gonna add to the stability of the rocking horse so it doesn't fall apart. We're going to put some uh, chocolate over here. Okay. Like here. Mm -hmm. A good piece of chocolate over here. A good piece of chocolate over here. Okay. I'm gonna need you and the cold spray. Just have to be confident, you know? You tell me when. Uh, over here, cold spray. On the back. Ah! We made it! We made it! And then, <laughs> yeah, once again, once again, we have we have to put the 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 seat, the little seat. So same thing. I'm gonna scrape the tac tac tac. Put a little bit of tempered chocolate, and then. That's it. All right. Okay, so can you help me put together my horse, please? Absolutely, Liz. <laughs> Let's do it. Thank you. You know, I'm here to assist, huh? <laughs> you make it look so easy. This is definitely a little bit more advanced. <laughs> yeah, you put a little bit of chocolate huh? on both sides. Yep. And then I'm gonna have one like this over here. Okay. We're just adding a little bit of tempered chocolate everywhere where we want a cross section to be, like we did before. Freeze it in place with a little bit of cold spray, and that just adds stability to the whole piece so it doesn't fall apart. Just work carefully and make sure nothing breaks. Now we're gonna add on the pieces of the legs to the horse using the freeze spray. It's so cool how the freeze spray just makes everything stick right away. You don't have to wait for it to cool down. Okay, now time to attach the horse to the base. This is a two-person job. It was all me. <laughs> oh, Atam, we're missing this one. Yes, we got the, the seat on. I would love to be able to learn from you how to make a hair for my horse. An ear? Yes. You just cut a little Okay. right with your X-Acto blade. No template required. Oh, wow. Two ears. Two ears. And we just need a little dot of milk chocolate, right? Yeah. Just a dot. The second here. Uh -huh. So cute. Wow. Now he has ears. Okay, so now we just have to do handles and handles. we're done, right? Yes. 
So Liz, we're going to do the little... Uh, the handles. Handles. We're doing the tempered chocolate that we blend until it becomes a clay consistency. Exactly. Yes. So gum paste, we mix it. We're mm -hmm. going to mix the chocolate with a blade. Mm -hmm. And that chocolate gonna become a paste that we can roll the same way we will play with the Play-Doh. Yep. Right? All right. We're ready to go. The RoboCoop. See, you have the ah, paste. Ah, nice. So it's actually so fast to do this. Yes. So you wanna... Cut. Cut. Yes. And then exactly the same size. Cut. That's it. And now we do the white chocolate. And I want to make mine a unicorn, so we're twisting two pieces together to make this cute little horn. You dip your little chocolate, just a little bit. Okay. Then you go over here. Wow. Et voila! Ah, the handles really make it. You can even put an eye on it oh. in the front, over here, right? You really did your unicorn. I huh? told you I really wanted to do a unicorn. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this was definitely a challenging piece, but doable. All right. right? With yes. practice, you can definitely make something like this, but I don't want to like just be like, yeah, it was so simple. It was, a, it was challenging, yeah, for sure. If you try to do this at home, it will require some patience. Yes. You can always eat a little bit of chocolate in between, you know? <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for the Park High Aviara for again hosting the Sugar Geek Show. And we have another class coming, maybe some bonbons? Yes. Yes. So you don't want to miss that one. Beautiful bonbon. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you need to catch up on our previous videos, you can check them out right here. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, Sugar Geeks.